Okay, it's me again. This is video number three, and I think that we that we will entitle this one the phone video. I was walking last Wednesday, and I was almost finished with my walk, and I picked up my phone out of my hand to do something to look at my playlist or something, and I dropped it. Okay, I did not have an otter box on it. I just had a cute little Alabama cover on it. It didn't crack. It didn't do anything. It looked like it was fine until I tried to take a picture or a video and everything was really fuzzy and it was just a mess. So I thought, what am I gonna do? You know, I thought, yeah, I don't have to have a camera. Everything else on the phone works, but you know what? I'm going to a family wedding soon and I wanted to be able to share pictures and all that kind of stuff. So I considered several different options. I would really like a new phone, but I'm not due for an upgrade until December. And I had insurance, so I thought, okay, I'll just do the insurance thing. So I called the insurance. They were good. No problem. I, I do have a deductible I had to pay. And they said, we'll overnight it to you. Well, I thought, well, that's great. I'll keep the old phone, use my music that's on there for my playlist and use it like an iPod and then not take my new phone when I'm walking. Well, that was a good idea, except nobody told me I had to send the old phone in. And then you get to the point where this is an iPhone 4. If it was an iPhone 4S or higher, all the music could be uploaded to iCloud and then back down. But you can't do that. It has to be loaded on. It had to be loaded onto a computer or an iPad to start with. And then, to my, anyway, long story short, I was not a happy camper when I got home Thursday night and read the instructions because it had to. Not only did it have to be done, I had to back up everything on my old phone, on iCloud, and then load it to the new phone. And all that had to be done in Wi-Fi on Wi-Fi. And I live in Podunk Town, Alabama. Not really, it's not that bad, but everything closes pretty much that has Wi-Fi at 9 o'clock, except for like McDonald's. Well, I thought, okay, I'll load up everything, I'll go to McDonald's. Well, when I got there, there were four teenage boys sitting at the table that have all the plugs, and I knew they weren't going anywhere, so I just said, forget this, I'm going home, I'm going to rest. Forget about it. I knew Friday was going to be busy. I said, oh, Saturday morning, I'll just go to Starbucks, drink coffee, and take care of my business. So, Friday, you know, my phone's still working except for the camera, and, and I really hadn't checked it again. Somebody wanted a picture. I said, well, remember, my phone's not working. I can't, you know, but I said, okay, I'll try. Well, guess what, folks? The camera was working. I'm using the old phone now, making a video. Well, <laughs> I'm going, okay, now what am I going to do? So, you know, I ha actually, I haven't done anything. Today's been crazy with all, everything and the weekend. Um, I'm just going to, I didn't even open the new phone. I just read the instructions. I haven't done anything with the new phone, so I'm going to call them and say, hey, you're getting the new phone back. I want my money back, and my old phone's just fine. Sorry, I don't know what happened, but anyway, it's okay. So that's the phone saga. Uh, I guess I was most upset about losing all my music because I have tons of music for my playlist for when I'm walking. Um, that and I'll have to deal with that in December, but I can kind of plan for that and see what I can do between now and then not have to do something in a hurry and lose the old phone where, where actually in December when I buy a new phone I won't have to send one in I can do what I plan to do with this one. Okay, so that's video three the phone saga